talking to a new buyer, uh, somebody looking to buy a home for the first time, and I was telling them that there are four or five, three, four or five um, costs that a lot of people don't think about when they're buying a house. And um, one of those things I, I, I want everybody to have in the front of their mind is that you know there are a lot of uh, closing costs that you don't think about, like prepaids and other fees. Uh, that's one thing. Number two, it's not a real big expense, but it is an expense. It's four or five hundred dollars, which is the inspection fee that you have to pay for when you when you buy a house when you get the house inspected. Um, number three, which sometimes you have, sometimes you don't, which is an association fee, which is the uh, a fee that you know associations charge. So if you're you know someplace like Dutch Island, the landings, um, those are mandatory associations where you've got to pay your association fee every month. Um, that's something that you have to factor into your monthly expenses. And also the closing expenses because sometimes there's a fee to transfer um, the membership to the association. Um, the other thing that you want to think about too, uh, I guess it would be number four, is um, you want to think about um, uh, any sort of maintenance and repair decorating that you can do when you buy the house because everybody wants to make the house their own you know uh, painting new floor uh, real easy thing to do is uh, if you want to basically refresh the, the kitchen is paint the cabinets um, but anyway that's going to cost you some money okay if you do it yourself diy or pay somebody it's going to cost you some money um, and then the last thing is, is um, a lot of people don't think about this because if they've been living in the same apartment or the same house for a long time and they're moving from one to another, is uh, hooking up your utilities. Um, there, there, there could be some expenses to that. So there are a lot of hidden expenses. And I usually, if someone to ask me, I always tell them that it's probably one to two percent uh, of uh, things you don't think about. So if you have four or five extra thousand dollars saved on top of the down payment, on top of the closing costs you already know about, um, that should cover a lot of it. But you know, some people go crazy and spend you know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars redoing their kitchens, more or more than that. I mean, so anyway, um, those are a few hidden costs to think about when you're buying a house. Thanks for watching.